Hello, and welcome to an overview of HR Cloud's Perform application. Perform allows you to schedule different evaluation cycles, and each cycle is customized individually and independently of the other cycles that you currently have created in the application. Each cycle can be activated or deactivated at any point. It can be duplicated or completely deleted. When you're creating a cycle, first you have the general information, which is the cycle title, as well as the description, that's optional. You then schedule your review by choosing the date on which you want this cycle to end, which is the evaluation date. For example, I want this to be done at the end of September. Then I can choose whether this will be a self-review, a manager review, or both. So let's do both. Then I can define how much time will the employees and the managers have to complete the review. I can give them access 15, 30, or 60 days before the evaluation date. You can also enable goal tracking for a specific cycle, so the templates and manager can define the goals for the cycle and then rate how much of the goal they complete. Each cycle can be a one-time cycle or it can be repeated every couple of months or years. If you have a repeating cycle, the next few repetitions will be visible on this timeline. Let's do a one-time cycle for simplicity. Finally, after scheduling your review, you can choose who are the employees who will actually be reviewed in this cycle. You can access a cycle to all employees, or you can use custom assignment rules such as the Department of Employees, their division, their location, who's their manager, their position, title, and so on to target the specific group of employees. Once you've done the general scheduling, you can then move forward and choose the questions that will be assigned with this site. In this next step, you define the questions that you want to ask in the self-review and in the manager review if both are enabled completely independently of one another. So the self-review can contain a different amount of different questions. Each question that you add, you can leave it as an open-ended question, or you can add a rating scale. The rating scale can be customized and it can vary from question to question. You can add options to the rating scale, you can remove options to the rating scale, or they can be descriptive or numbered. And you can do this for each question. So I will now create two questions for the self-review. And as you can see for the manager review, you can create completely different questions. Other things you can do here is you can require a signature so that employees and managers have to sign when they complete the review. And you can choose to include or exclude the overall ratings. And the overall ratings themselves can be customized. You can change the categories and the evaluation scale. Same goes for the manager review. You can add different questions. You can include or exclude the overall results as well as customize. Another thing you can do is you can allow the app to automatically calculate the overall rate. So generally, the overall results are manually scored. But if you want the app to automatically score them, you can use this auto overall rating calculation. Then for each question, you'll be offered a choice. Do you want this question to be part of the performance result, part of the potential result, and if a question doesn't need to be included in a calculation, you can choose the none option. Once you set everything up, this is how your cycle will look like. So when you click on a cycle, you'll get a general overview of your schedule and as well as all the questions and the rating scales that will be asked in the self-review and manager reviews as well. In the review section, you'll be able to see all the reviews that are assigned and you'll be able to filter out and find the information about who's the manager of the employees, or if you need to see the status of a self-review or a manager review, or filter out incomplete reviews. You can customize the grid. You can remove information that you don't need at the moment, or you can get information based on the columns that you see. And of course, you'll have access to inspecting the reviews themselves. So we'll open up an already completed review where the signature was required 
so we can see how the completed review looks like. This is a manager's review that has been completed, and this is the employee's self-review. Managers will also have the option to make the review visible or not visible to the employees. This can be toggled for each individual review at any point. Simply toggle it on or off. Now I'll open up any complete review and show you how easy it is to complete an assessment. So you open up the review and answer the questions. On this one, auto calculation was enabled, so you can see my performance results were automatically calculated and I cannot change them. Same for my potential results. I can leave the comments, if necessary, and then I can save the review. This asks me for my signature. I can sign it either by drawing the signature or signing by username. Completed reviews can also be exported as PDFs from the system at any point. You can simply save the review as a PDF and the system will export. This is how a PDF copy of the review looks like. You see the self-review, as well as the manager review, with both signatures. The overall results, if they are included, Perform will create a report based on them and show you the values in a matrix report. So here on the reports, all cycles that include overall results will be created as a report with the report name matching the cycle name. You can click on it and get the graphical results of your overall results. Here, the app will plot potential versus performance for both self-reviews and manager reviews. If you change the category title, of course your verbiage will be visible as well as your rating scale. It will calculate a global performance, global potential average, and you'll be able to filter this out by department, division, location, and so on. If your cycle is repeating, each repetition will be visible here, and you'll be able to click on it and see additional results. If you click on an individual's photo on your matrix review, their evaluation will pull up and you'll be able to review it from here as well. This was a brief overview of performance. Thank you.